so much more than we've ever seen before. today's vlog hope you're all okay yeah do apologize if i sound bunged up i am really bunged up this morning um here on my nose my eyes down here yeah i woke up this morning my eyes were streaming it looked like i've been crying but i hadn't and then as soon as i was up that's it i was sneezing for about a good 10 15 minutes i have done covid tests as well just to make sure because i know that's still around but no absolutely fine that's come back negative so i think it's just which you're cold and hay fever I've rolled into one saying that though Stephen's had a bit of a cold on him so I think he might have passed it on to me um but again like I said Stephen did a couple of tests and he was fine so this is the thing the weather can't make its mind up what it wants to do whether it wants to be warm or stay cold and stuff I know on on the tv earlier on they'll say that this is the coldest start to spring in 15 years um but looking at the weather forecast it looks like it is going to change now just like it's going to go we're going to go from the fr from the freezer into the frying pan but you know again if it keeps the bugs at bay i'll be quite happy about that so anyway yeah kids went off to school absolutely fine this morning the bed's been really really giggly and laughy smiley it's been up since half past five this morning which is a really really early for ben saying that though he was asleep by half past nine last night so he can't have it both ways yeah he we didn't hear a peep out of him until then he come in to me at half past five it's like pulling me out of bed come on that's his way of saying come on me it's time to get up but now I was getting up at half past five so he took my drink and went back into his bedroom laid in bed for, for an hour or so so yeah like I said he's absolutely fine he went off really giggly um but it is quite sweet in one way because he absolutely loves watching Paddington on milkshakes in the mornings and then normally when Paddington finishes his bus is here so of course I don't know if the thing I was I don't know if Paddington was early finishing or the bus was slightly late but of course, as soon as Paddington finished, he took me, to the, took me out to the door, basically, and said, come on, it's time for school, but his bus wasn't there, so he, he was absolutely fine. He went, <sighs> then propped himself back on the sofa. Yeah, he's, like I said, so, so cheeky, really, really is. And then Samuel's happy again in school today, he's got drama. Again, he's, he's a good old drama queen anyway, he's got that in the drama room. I'm not too quite sure what they're doing. No doubt he'll tell us when he comes in from school. But today, I haven't, anyway, today I haven't worked with plans to do anything or like that. I do need to start packing Ben's case stuff when he goes away. So I've got, like, so now I've got the list. Um, probably start doing that now. I've got his big massive bag out of the garage. So I've let, let that air now for a couple of days. And then I'll probably start doing that sort of thing. I was going to wait till they've done a 10 day trend tomorrow, see what the weather forecast will be officially. But I think I just might pack a mixture of, so like, three pairs of jogging bottoms, three pairs of shorts, a couple of hoodies, a couple of t-shirts for him, that sort of thing. Obviously he needs, um, I've got his list over here somewhere. This is it, I've got his list here. And he needs a packed lunch, obviously, for when he goes. 
his needs a swimming kit and towel which is at school which they're provided in any way because obviously they're he needs a small sturdy rucksack which he's got his school bag which is fine he's got five complete changes of clothes and including underwear extra couple of changes for even and out so yes that's fine i can do that warm top says the fleece he's got his nice big thick jumper strong shirts for shoes but yeah that's nothing we're gonna try and into Banbury tomorrow to get him some more shoes because we brought him some originally from the sports direct and where he's kicked them off, tried to kick them off, he's put a hole in the bottom, so we need to get some more of them. Waterproof coat, I think he's got one of them, but I just might say there's no more coat in school. Obviously pyjamas, bath towel, wash stuff basically, sun hat and sun cream. That's another thing, we'll try and find him a hat as well. So obviously Stephen's got a large head like Ben has, so again, what we can do is get Stephen to pull a try it on. If, it's, if it fits Stephen, it'll fit Ben. And then obviously a bin liner and obviously medication, what he needs, which he's only been signed up from school. So when he goes, I just need to send that in. So yes, it's quite a simple, straightforward list actually. He doesn't need so much stuff as what Sammy needed because obviously Sam went to the activity centre. So yeah, I need to start sorting that out for him later on. So but anyway, yeah, so now I'm going to make myself a cup of tea because like I said, I didn't get a chance this morning when Ben was up at half past five this morning. So because normally... When I wake up at 7 o'clock, I've had my tea there. So I've got my tea here. I haven't drank half of it and it's gone cold. So I'm going to do that now. And then I've just got a whole load of washing to get out, make the most of it while the weather's nice and warm. So anyway, yeah, we just pop upstairs now. I need to start packing Ben's bag, done I left when he goes away. So um, we've taken this big bag down here. I'm hoping everything fits in here. It has done before, hasn't it? But this is the first time he's actually gone away for the week. So if it doesn't, we have got the big black case there. So, But I think it'd be easier for the bag to be on the sleeve rather than the case because then that way... Because um, they did say they are... Lack of space, didn't they, as well, for like storage spaces and stuff. So, again, these that one can be squashy. Also, got here for this little toiletry bag here. We've had this one ages, and it's really great because each little apartment all comes comes out as well. So, yeah. What about his razor? Should I pack his razor or not? Or this? It's about packing all toiletries. Uh. Things would they shave him though? Give him a shave. Well, just put it in, Joe. Or. We could always give him a shave before we go, and it'll be right until we come back. Yeah, well, you just pack it because it does say all toiletries. I'll pack it anyway, and then just go from there. Then yeah, yeah. nothing to do. So anyway, you're right doing all the pair and all the socks and stuff while I can pack his case, yeah. Yeah, I'll have a go. Yeah. Um, good to forget. Got a few sheets here and stuff. Obviously, where I changed all the beds and stuff. And I think there's a whole load. Is there a whole load in here? Or are they just towels? I think they're just towels and that in there, the darling, all right? Yeah. yeah. So you can have that a go. And I shall probably see in, see in a little bit, all right? Yeah. Um, thing is, what do I pack in well, clothes-wise? Do, do I just pack in extra shorts and... Yeah, it's, it might be warm, Exactly. If I just pack in extra... If I do in three pairs of shorts and three pairs of trousers, yeah? Yeah. That should be plenty for me, shouldn't that? Because they said five complete outfits and then one set of clothes, then one set of clothes, then for just in case. Yeah, I do that and then, all right. Yes, um, Ben's bed is a bit of a, I would say it's a bit of a mess, but it's an organised chaos as such. So, yeah, so, um, obviously, like I said, got his purple towel for, for him to shower. In the end, I decided to go for four pairs of shorts. Um, they four, one, two, three, four, yeah, a couple of blue players black and grey for him as well because again you can't guarantee what the weather's going to be like and being on where's he going down this at the south coast yeah. yeah being on the south coast you can't always guarantee what the weather's like looking at the weather and it looks like it's going to be okay ish so i thought if i go for a mixture of shorts and also trousers that should be fine so yeah i know that with ben sometimes having nappy leaks it'll give a chance for maybe if he has an accent or something like that. I know on site there is laundrette facilities there, so they can use it if need be as well. So he's got them. He's also got five pairs of socks as well. I always find sometimes it is best to overpack rather than underpack and be prepared for everything. 
this is why when we've, like I said, when also for Disney, for like all the medications and stuff, we probably won't need half that stuff, but it's always best to have it, um, especially being out the country as well. Because um, obviously we don't wear anything here, so it's going to be quite interesting to see how quickly it takes us to get our bearings. So yeah, like I said, and it's also got um selection of t-shirts here. I think it's got about seven t-shirts here. Obviously that will give him a chance just in case he makes a mess or sometimes with Ben. If he, when he feeds himself, so that's that a couple of pairs of extra there. It's also got um, four pairs of trousers again, um, obviously, because like I said, if they go out in the evening, because obviously they are got some even entertainment booked as well. And obviously, it's got some hoodies and some normal t shirts there, as like t shirt type tops as well. And they did say about a hoodie or a fleece. And I just found got this from for him in his cover. It's, it's like it's not like it's not like it's a hoodie as such. It's like a little jacket, but it's fleecy material, so that'll probably be fine for him there. And then obviously, obviously got his pajamas here for him as well. So yes, yeah, so like I said, I need to na label everything. So I don't know how I'm gonna label socks to be honest with you. And then also what I'm having to do is, as well, obviously get a piece of paper and obviously then write down everything here, what is wearing, even on this traveling clothes. Again, because like I said, they've got 20, 20, 25 kids going on this trip as well. So I suppose things are gonna easy get lost. I'm not too quite sure about a teddy bear for him yet. It doesn't say on here where they can take one, but Ben likes to cuddle his teddy. Um, which one is he? Where is he? It's a Butman's bear. I don't worry, he's gone actually. I think it's probably on the floor. Yeah, this one here, this is his Blinky Butlins Bear from 2019. And she can tell he has been a little bit well loved. He's, oh, I just realised he's sewn up again, actually. Mum's sewn him up a few times for him as well, because obviously where he's been. But yeah, look, he's a bit... <laughs> it's always nice when you can see bears like this, isn't it, that they well loved. So he's got that one from 2019. He's got this one from 2021. Again, you can see that's been a bit, been a bit barefied as well. And he's also got this one here from 2022. Um, you can see he hasn't really touched that one and stuff like that. But yeah, this is, is definitely his favourite. You know, it's like, um, you have like your favourite soft toy and stuff when you're younger. I still got mine actually, to be honest with you. But yeah, um, thing is, on the other hand, I don't want him to take it and lose it. So I might see what Stephen says. I might even speak to school as well. Because I wasn't wanting to settle, but again, because it's a soft toy, it's one of those ones you can't replace, obviously. It's different, like a no left, like Sammy's or something like that. So, yeah, so I, prefer, I don't know, I'll put that back over there and see what he says. Um, but yeah, like I said, yeah, anyway, let's go, start labeling all these and then put them in this case. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully, fingers crossed, they will. Or not, oh, yeah, I obviously need to get his toiletry bag organized as well, so that, that's quite simple and straightforward to do.
yeah, you can see the boys are home from school. How was school today then, my sweetheart? You done anything nice today or not? Just did my normal lessons. Yeah. Uh, if you, um, did you do rugby today? Yeah. Yeah? That's good. And you're getting on the right with rugby, aren't you? I'm over. I've got that lady to help me tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She comes in, doesn't she? She helps you a couple of times a week, doesn't she? Which is really good. So, anyway, tell me, tell me, look at your face a minute. Tell me on the side. This way here. But you can hear by Sammy, he's bunged up as well, aren't you, darling? Yeah. Anyway, don't forget to drink your drink. Bless him, he woke up in with a light coffin as well, so he gave him a drink, he settled down. Obviously, we've done a you know what on him, and his flex is he's absolutely fine. So, but yeah, this is a problem. The last of the weather can't make his mind up what he wants to do. I've like set up there, it's absolutely lovely now, a bit chilly, but apparently, it's going to be in for a heat wave next week, apparently. So, we'll just have to wait and see whether we're getting or not. And what was school doing today, my darling? School dinner today, mummy. It was school dinner today, Mummy. Mm. It was lasagna. Oh, you like lasagna, don't you? Yeah. And what's your pudding today? Um, ice cream. Ice cream. And did we eat all your dinner today? Yeah. You sure? Did we eat all your vegetables? Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, because obviously sometimes the school says sometimes they can be a bit funny, sometimes what you, if he eats it or not. Anyway then, Ben, darling, you alright? Yeah, you tired? You look tired, don't you? You look like he was going to fall asleep on the bus, actually, to be honest with you. But like I said, he was up early this morning. Steve actually heard him when he went to work about half past five, bouncing around. Like I said, they're coming to me about half past five, so... Yeah, I've been up since half past five with Ben as well. But yeah, and he's also been to the gym today. He's had a really good session at the gym, so that means he'll probably be tired again tonight. So he'll sleep up where he'll probably sleep and up again early in the morning. So, but yeah, <coughs> Lisa, have a good day. Don't you feet up? Yeah, he's sucking into what are you tucking in. What did Daddy give you today? I give you some of your cheese puff things. Because Mummy's just packed your case for you for, from when you go away. Yeah, obviously, he sent home his PE kit as well for me to wash, and I need to put that back in his back in his case for you, don't we? So when you go away, yeah, Mummy needs to ask all about your teddy, though, don't you? Mummy won't write in your book for tomorrow and ask if you can take your teddy. Yeah, don't take your teddy to Butlins. It come from Butlins, didn't it? You're gonna have so much fun, aren't you? You're going to come home absolutely shattered though, but as long as you have a good time, that's all that matters though, isn't it? Hey? Well then guys, that brings Tuesday's vlog to a close. Yep, ever and ever and ever so close if we get to Ben's trip to next week, didn't we? Mm. Yep, Ben spends away with school and his residential very soon and uh, hopefully he's going to look forward to it. He's got such a busy week planned, the artillery is packed out, isn't it? Um, got loads of stuff to do. I think yeah, upstairs, I know. But oh. he's doing things like the Skyline Gang, mm. um, the Yabba Show, Festival Rocks, Musical Rocks. Um, Is that okay? Up to you. Yeah. I'm playing to my own as well. Yeah. I mean, that's not like including the swimming in the fairgrounds. So he's going to get to see a lot of Butlins before we get to see Butlins this year. That's what Sam just doesn't like. He's going to get to see the new Skyline Gang show before we are. Yeah. Anyway guys, yeah, but very, very soon he gets to do something very, very special too as well. So that's coming very, very soon guys. Believe me, it's not that far off now, is it? Anyway guys, yep, yeah, so tomorrow, I don't know what the plan is for tomorrow yet. You'll have to come back and find what we're up to. So anyway, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you tomorrow for Wednesday again. Bye guys.